people. Uh, we got a little drama, not false fake drama like the other channels, but I've got this thing with my ear. I had a reverse squeeze all last night. If you don't know what that is, there's something in there, a blockage, and I dropped the anchor too low because the waves were really big. They're still actually really big. You might be able to hear them in the background. I dropped the anchor too wide and the the chain, you wouldn't believe it, it got underneath a an old bommy and I couldn't lift it up so I had to dri dive down. And as I dive down, I'm forcing my ear and it's sort of hurting but I still got to get it. And um, am I boring you already? I've heard the story two times already. Alright. Anyway, and um, two times? Yes, last night oh, okay. when you were all cranky and Yeah, just I was a bit cranky. I my was, ear. It was anyway, and so you equalize and I eventually equalize even though it was painful. And of course when I came up, it didn't re-equalize back. And so you get that pressure and what happens is it was okay for a little bit, but then it moves, the little little gas ball moves until it gets to a really sensitive part and then it was oh it was bad. But um, so I'm gonna give it a break today. Lisa is keen to go kill something. She's that got that type of killer instinct personality, but with a sprinkle of empathy on it. Sprinkle. Actually no. It's mostly empathetic and but she does understand that she has to shoot fish. And the place I went yesterday, there were those large trigger fish you told me about. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the ones that you told me that they tasted like chicken. Yes. And there do. were plenty of barracudas. The and barracuda. Yes. Yeah, you want to shoot one of those? No. no what if it attacks me? Uh, no, it won't attack you. Well, it probably will. But well, I'll be there to save the day because I'll be in the water. I'm just not going to dive down. So uh, you can. Well, yes. All right. So. Did you try it again? Did I try After the you lost the rubber? Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, the gun. lost the rubber. Yeah, it wasn't, and that, it wasn't my fault, people. Well, it was. It was the gods. And he was looking at on the floor, floor. Oh on the yeah, ground. and then I realised it's a floating rubber. All my other rubbers sink. But this one doesn't. And this one doesn't. This was floating, so I was looking down. Where is it? And it's probably just it's probably sitting on my hawk. Oh, it's a hawk. Probably sit, sitting on my snorkel. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm down a rubber. And I've been giving all my rubbers away to all Lagunas, uh, I've got hardly any left. Anyway, so let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's go. You ready? Yes. Lisa's got to catch his lunch and dinner because I'm out of action. Can I call you killer if you kill something? No. What about empathetic killer? What about empathetic torturer, torturous murderer, murderess? Okay. Lisa's getting the GoPro mask on. Bye, Lisa. Everyone loves stats nowadays, so let's check them out. Following shots with the fish moving away are more difficult. Also, Lisa is swimming, which is wobbling her trigger hand back and forth. Not great. Small target, as in thin, without much height is difficult because vertical errors in shots are the most common. New gun and first shot, who knows where it will go. Lisa doesn't have much experience at all, so that kicks the figures in the ass. Quantum mechanics, no explanation here is required since only 11 people in the world understand quantum mechanics, and I'm not one of them, so the chances one of them are watching this show are pretty small indeed, people. I've given an arbitrary figure of 0.8 to see if anyone knows anything about it. Come on, chime in. What do you reckon? God having fun is just the usual course of anyone's day. And finally, the long shot, which I think is self-explanatory, people. Now for the calculations. It's not looking good. There is less than a 1 in 200 chance of success. Oh my lord. I have a new plan, people. Be nice to Lisa. I could be next. <laughs> Uh, that was a great shot. I mean, dead centre and up through the eye. Probably the best shot you could have done. Except you're so close. Like normally with the spear, you want it still in the fish so you can ram your hand up and 
then it can't actually come back and bite you. So that was the only thing. So next time you shoot from further away <laughs> or you just pull the shaft back through it. But that is a trick because he could bite you, couldn't he? He was, he was definitely out of his mouth going like crazy, didn't he? Yes. Anyway, it's all good. Well done, Lisa. He's out for 30 seconds, gets a fish. I'm out for five hours and I get a fish. Who is more efficient? These Swiss girls, you know, like the Swiss army watches, they're all dead on time and the Swiss army knife, very efficient. Top stuff, you happy? Party. Can I call you killer? Lisa wants to try trigger fish because it tastes like chicken. And all girls like chicken. Following Lisa, she had a good chance to shoot that fish. I had to find out why. So why didn't you shoot that last one? Pretty, and it had a cute look. It had a cute look. Yeah, he was like, hello. <laughs> they're a bit like that. They're like humans, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. And they're fins and. Actually, much better than most humans, I reckon. But anyway, not most people, not my viewers. Hardly any trigger fish are nicer than my viewers. But the general pop population, I'm not going to mention any vagabond fans. Sorry. Not mentioning any vagabond at all. So it's too cute, was it? Yes. Okay. Let's find an ugly one then. Okay. Graceful as ever. Were you chasing the fish? A little. A little? You were chasing it a little. Have I taught you nothing? <laughs> 20 push-ups, go on. In the water? Oh, it's easier. Okay. It's easier in the water. <laughs> well, you should take advantage. Ay, 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 should have known better. Ay, 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 should have known better. It's enough singing. I don't know why I'm singing that song. It's like from the 70s or 80s. No, I think it's the 80s. Stuck in the 80s, people. Bugger, I'm caught in the shallows. I'm just trying to be a sail. Hopefully I can get out of here. Lisa's over there. She's probably chasing more barracuda. I'll have to have a stern talking to her. No chasing fish. Well, look, put it this way. Fish don't like getting chased when you spear, you know? There's a pointy thing in there. I mean, they're not stupid people. They're trying to get away. Whereas if you hide, throw some sand up and hide in the sand. Are you? What's that? And then you can get them. Where's the fish? They're there. Did you miss? Yes. Not into it. You've lost your killer instinct? Well, I never had it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's regarding fish. Oh, that's a cute barracuda. I mean, I don't know about you people, but is that a cute barracuda? Oh yeah, it's, it's very cute. It's something that you want to see in a Christmas stocking, I reckon. Where's the fish? Still in the ocean. Really? Yes. So you got one? Well, yes, but it was the first shot. Yeah, it's a good ratio, that one. One for one. And now it's down to what? 25. I think it's worse. I, think I it's had 20. four shots. Yeah, but on top of the first shot. Lisa's gonna catch, prepare, cook, and I'm gonna do this, people. And this is one of my favorites. There's also the scratching the balls, but that's the uh, Patreon only version. You're welcome. You're welcome, patrons. Did it really go straight into the eye? Well, you're the one that shot. Well, so you shot, it was sort of, it came through here and through the eye. So it's probably the best shot you could ever do. Because, look, these ones are really hard. These ones are really hard to brain, to kill. Uh, and you still didn't kill it by shooting, but it's the best shot you could do. It's the best. Really. Well done. <laughs> the killer with a heart. The most empathetic hunter I've ever met. So why didn't you shoot that trigger fish? 
It was so cute. You know, in the old days, when they used to go out hunting woolly mammoths, the tribe would get together and go, oh, Jesus, we're getting hungry, it's lunchtime. Who's out hunting? Lisa. Oh, well, better wait for dinner. She'll be finding cute woolly mammoths, cute wildebeests, cute bison. She only shoots the ugly ones, people. It's a good thing I'm not a fish. I'll be first on the menu. How good's this, people? All I need is a massage, and I'm done. That's our Tupperware people. Lisa hasn't even gone through the skin. She's skinning it. She hasn't even cut through the skin once. What's your secret, Lisa? I'm very sensible. Really? Except for the part that she volunteered to come on my boat. <laughs> <laughs> What's cooking? Good looking? Pasta. Alright. Um. We got onion. Whoa! Is that how much garlic you normally use? No, no, no. Half of it is for the dressing. Alright, oh, which is for later. Yes. Alright, yeah. Lisa's very efficient. She does like the marinade and she has it spare and that's for the next meal the next day. Very fishy. These Swiss, they're amazing. Top stuff. I probably drive her mad because uh, this vlog is not efficient at all in any way, shape or form. But you know, we try. Actually, no, we don't try. Are you efficient? No, we don't try. No, we don't try. Uh -huh. So, um, you're feeling proud? You well, went I... and shot the fish. <laughs> you then cut the fish up and now you're going to cook it. Yes, that's actually a good thing. But between the shooting and the cutting up, I tried to shoot another fish for three hours and it didn't work out. Yeah, but you're the editor, you can cut that out. <laughs> Just say, oh, I only shot once and I got the fish. <laughs> Which was true. Yeah. We're very proud of Lisa. She doesn't like killing animals. But because she does eat it, she wants to understand the pain. Don't you? Yes. Well, understand the pain, not really, but I think... Well, is it, it is pain, isn't it? Pain of killing it? Yeah. Well, yes. Yes, no, that's true. I just think it's appropriate that you are able to do it if you want to eat it. Yeah, yeah. Should be good. I'm so hungry, people. We, I thought I was out for an hour and a half driving Lisa around, well, catching a fish. Well, he tried me in the first bit. We were out for three hours, 40 minutes to get one fish. Mind you, me out we yesterday, I was out minutes. for five hours and I only got one fish. But a lot of stupid fish, you, you understand that when I see a stupid fish, I go, I'm not going to shoot that, it's a bit stupid. I give it a second chance. I got to shoot hard fish, which sort of creates problems. But makes me feel good. This meal is brought to you by Lisa. She did everything, people. Well, except for the driving bit and the annoying comments, but you know that's from me. This is the coriander that I um, prepared much earlier. Well, yesterday. Yes. Um, so it's just in olive oil and um, uh, salt. And always use a fresh, um, clean, which is difficult on my boat. Fork, um, otherwise it'll go moldy, moldy, it'll go off. You can't beat it, people. An hour ago this fish was swimming and now it is on the plate. It tastes delicious, it's so good. You can't go wrong with coriander and garlic. Mm -mm. Fresh fish. That's the best.